everybody. I'm Jeff Scribolo, Senior Systems Engineer. Welcome to our Solution Innovation Center. Uh, what I'm going to do now is going to go ahead and share my screen so that you can see the user interface of Zebra's MotionWorks Enterprise. We're going to go through a couple of different things today, three distinctly different RFID demonstrations and one active RFID demonstration. These demonstrations are designed to show the interoperability of these different technologies going into MotionWorks Enterprise. So the first thing I'd like to start with is going to be a fixed RFID demonstration. And today we are using just a standard patch antenna connected up to a Zebra FX7500. And if anybody cares, it's running wirelessly. So the first thing I'd like to show is how easy it is to configure and set up a fixed RFID reader in MotionWorks Enterprise. We're going to go straight into the infrastructure, device manager, and you can see I cheated a little. I have it up and running already. But one of the big things I wanted to show is antenna placement and how that matters and how easy that is to configure if we need to make changes when the system is deployed. So I'm going to do an edit on map. What we're going to do here is we're going to turn on the zones and the zone names. Here in the middle, you're going to see uh, the representation of the actual RFID reader and its physical placement in the facility. These other two are the actual antennas. Now these antennas can be moved to any spot on the map. And as they're moved around, whatever zone they're in and whatever XY coordinate they are, are assigned by MotionWork, that's where they're going to assign and place the tag reads that are going to go, uh, that are going to take place by that antenna. So one of the things that's really kind of cool is I'm going to go ahead and place this one up on the conveyor that you can see there. And I'll put this one down in the bottom corner of the blue zone. We're going to go ahead and hit the save button. All right, so as soon as you see that it says it's published here, we should be good to go. Now I'm going to go to my resources tag here. We're going to be using for this demonstration, a simple passive RFID tag in a 4x6 label that was printed off of a Zebra printer. Uh, and it's really kind of common thing that happens. Print job happens, uh, out comes the label encoded with your RFID information. So this is actually, uh, when I read this tag, and we're going to read it on the far antenna first. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit this over here, and you should see it go. The samples number five tag moved to that same spot on the conveyor that I placed the antenna. When I read on the other antenna, which is this guy right here, you should see it hop to that exact spot where I put the antenna in the blue zone. The reason I wanted to show this to you today is as we place RFID readers in and around facilities, one of the best things to tell you where your assets are is to put RFID at certain choke points. So we know it's in one zone or another. Now this helps greatly in finding things. So instead of having to go look at it in an entire facility or in multiple facilities, we can tell you with a graphic representation where it is either in that facility or in which facility it's in. So that being said, very powerful, very user friendly, very easy to deploy and begin to get a return on investment from this solution. The next thing I'd like to talk about is passive RFID and RTLS. Now this is a little different. Uh, it's going to actually divide up the whole facility as XY coordinates. So as a passive tag moves throughout the facility, the overhead readers that we have installed here in our facility, the ATR 7000, will gather that information based on angle of arrival calculate it, and then present that data to MotionWorks and give you a dot on a map as to where things are. I'm going to move over to our automotive seat uh, and uh, describe this demo in a little more detail. So on this seat, we have three tags. The first tag that I want to draw your attention to is way down next to the floor. It's a gray passive tag. Uh, that tag is designed to be mounted on metal and is very durable, so it can work in a lot of different harsh environments. The next tag is actually a hang tag that we have sitting right here on the chair attached to the post 
of the headrest. This is just like the samples tag. There's nothing overly special to it. It's just an inlay that came out of a Zebra printer. The third tag is actually a little invisible. You can't see it. It's actually here in the headrest, molded into the foam so that uh, it can go all the way through the manufacturing process without having to be removed when it goes back into being its final spot in the assembly, wherever that happens to be. So what I'd like to do now, uh, conveniently I put these on wheels. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these three tags back. And on the screen, you're gonna be able to notice uh, three tags moving. One's gonna be labeled the headrest, one will be labeled the test seat, and the other one will be test fixture. So as I move these back, you'll see them move probably deeper into the purple zone. Then as I move them back further, deeper into the yellow zone here. I'm gonna move them back forward. And one of the things you may notice as I'm doing this is that there's not an actual physical choke point here. These are just zones that are drawn on the map inside of MotionWorks that divide up the facility. So this becomes very powerful if you have a very large area and you want to break it down into smaller, more manageable spots to figure out where the assets can be. This can be along an assembly line, in a holding area, a staging area, whatever uh, that may look like. So as you can see, I'm now moving back with these three tags, it should end up in the blue zone. There we go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and push these back over to our starting position. There we are. One of the things I'd like to bring up about this technology that is really kind of awesome, when we talk about passive RTLS, everybody knows that passive RFID, you end up with a lot of bounce, a lot of things moving around the facility, people, fork trucks, things like that. RF energy will bounce off of all of these things, or shouldn't say all of them. People will absorb the signal, anything metal will actually reflect the signal. This will actually create jitter in the RFID tags. And you can witness that by watching them kind of bounce around a little bit on your screen. The longer these tags stay in one location, the more accurate the system becomes. So the more reads we get, the more samples we have in the sample set, the more accurate we are on the actual location of those tags. The third demonstration I'd like to get to is the ultra wideband DART system uh, we have that running also here in the facility. That's the DART system from Zebra. The tags come in a, a couple of different flavors. There's round ones. I'm going to switch over here. And then there are hang tags. And they can be used for a lot of different purposes. But what we have is I have an ultra wideband tag. And I'd like to go over there and show you where that's located. And then I will show you uh, how it reacts on the map. So here at the seat again, you can see way down at the very bottom, in the very, very back, you can see that ultra wide band tag hanging back there. Uh, it's not gonna be perfectly mounted here. And that's on purpose. So you can see that these are very accurate, even if they're not 100% perfectly aligned. So we're going to repeat the same test that we did before, but this time with the ultra wideband tag. You can see we have one tag in the purple zone. That is this tag that's on the bottom. And I'm going to move back again to the yellow zone. You can see that it's moving with me, and it's moving very rapidly. So now I'm gonna go back into the purple zone. You can also see that the XY coordinate is moving on the list view to the, the left of the graphic pane. 
Now we're in the red zone. Then we're going to move back over here to the blue zone. So ultra wideband technology is a great technology to use on those items or assets that are high dollar, ones you want to know exactly where they're at all the time. This way, if it moves through a spot it's not supposed to, we can tell you about it, we can send you an alert, an email, whatever it takes to tell you something that just happened, maybe wasn't supposed to. Or just a simple, hey, you know, you have a, you know, a fork truck. You have an asset that's sitting in the wrong spot too long. The other use that you can use them for is in combination with passive RFID. So what I'm going to do is if we actually take this tag and we place it on the mobile RFID cart, what that's going to do is that's going to give me a very accurate XY coordinate to the location of where that cart is. As it's moving through a facility, we're going to track where the cart is. Therefore, if we know what the cart is, we know where it's at, then we can also tie that data together with the information from the passive RFID reader that is built into it. These three different philosophies can help cover just about any facility, can give just about any company a very accurate view of their assets, their items. It can tell them if they're being shipped, if they're being received, without necessarily locking us into only one way of doing it. We can throw a lasso around all of these technologies to include a few that we haven't talked about, like mobile handheld readers. Bring all of that information into MotionWorks Enterprise and show you exactly where your assets are located. So we all know that MotionWorks is a great tool for asset tracking. Here at Lowry, we have a full engineering staff, full support staff uh, that will help through every aspect of the RFID solution or RFID slash barcoding or whatever that solution may look like. That is the power of Lowry Solutions, is the fact that we can bring an awful lot of experience and know-how to your solution to make sure we're maximizing the system for your benefit. All righty, I'd like to thank you. That's the demonstration of the Lowry Innovation Center today. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.